Good day Grade 12s, welcome to the next lesson in Euclidean Geometry. In this lesson we're going to be learning about ratio and proportion. So we're basically going to be extending our knowledge from our similar triangles and moving on from there. So let's look at our first theorem. We have this beautiful triangle where you can see that we have got a line going across the triangle that is parallel to the one side and the theorem states a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle divides the other two sides proportionally. So we are given that DE is parallel to BC. Then what it says is basically that AD over AB will therefore equal AE over AC or that AD over DB is going to equal AE over EC or AB over DB is going to be equal to AC over EC. So basically if we've got two lines that are drawn parallel, so we've got a line drawn parallel to one side of this triangle, then it breaks these two triangles up so that these sides are always in proportion to each other. Okay, so that's your first theorem. So let's look at an example. So here is our drawing and it says we need to solve for x. So we have that dh is 5 and we have that dg is 8. So do you agree therefore that hg is going to be how much? If this is 5 and the whole of that is 8 then obviously hg is 3. And then we can use our ratio and proportion and we can say, okay, fine, we know that dh over hg, because eh is parallel to fg, is equal to de, which is x, over ef, right? But dh is 5, so we've got 5 over hg which is 3 is equal to x over 2. So do you agree that we can solve for this by multiplying both sides by 2? So we've got 5 times by 2 over 3 equals x. So therefore x is going to be 10 over 3 or you could say it's 3 and a third equals x. And that's how we use the theorem that we've just proven. Now let's look at the converse. The converse says that if the line divides the size proportionately, then it is parallel. So in other words, if we're given that AB over PB is equal to AC over QC, so if, if we're given that AB over PB is equal to AC over QC, or if we're told that AP over PB is equal to AQ over QC, or if we're told that AP over AB is equal to AQ over AC, then we know that this is parallel to this. So our original theorem said that if these are parallel, then these would be divided proportionately. The converse says that if these are divided proportionately, then this is parallel. So let's look at the example. So we now need to f we now need to find these other sides. We need to find BC and we need to find CD. But let's just check. We've been told that these two are parallel and we've been told that these two are parallel. So let's use the fact that this is parallel to this to find our BC because that means that we can say okay fine we know that that there is 24 and that there is 36 and we've got that that's 16 and that's BC so let's see if we can use that but because BC is the unknown I'm going to put that at the top so I'm going to go BC over AB is equal to FE over AF. Okay, so therefore BC over AB 16 is equal to EF, which is 36, over 
24. Therefore, BC is equal to 36 over 24 times by 16. I'm going to divide that by 4, and that by 4 gives me 6. I'm going to divide that by 6, gives me 1, and that gives me 6, and 6 and 4 is 24. So therefore, the length of BC over here is 24, even though it doesn't look like it. Okay, so now we're going to look at... I'm just checking my maths. Yes, I'm right. Now we're going to look at CD. But now we can, and I'm just going to change my color. We're now going to look at the fact that this is parallel to this. Therefore, that side over that side has to be in proportion to that with that. Okay. And again, because I want CD at the top, I mean unknown, so I'm going to write CD at the top. So I'm going to go CD over DE is equal to AF over FE. FE, because now I'm getting CD, FE. Okay. So if we do that, we can say, okay, well, CD over DE, which is 27, is equal to, in this case, is 24 over 36. So therefore, CD is equal to 24 times by 27 over 36. I'm going to divide both of these by 3. So 3 goes into 27 9 times. 3 goes into 36 12 times, 12 goes into 12 once, and 12 goes into 24 twice, and 2 times 9 is 18. So therefore CD is 18. Feel free to do this in your calculator, I just find it easy to use mental arithmetic. So now you can see how we can use our ratio and proportion to work out lengths of sides. Please go practice, 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 and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.